Yeah, welcome to the dojo, baby, man, have no fear. Taekwondo is here, man, listen, we in the dojo, baby. Now listen, I wanted to make this video today. Because y'all going to see this woman go roast y'all. She going to roast the limps, the surface dwellers. Shout out to my guy, Steve the Dean. And a lot of people took this the wrong way. A lot of people reacted in multiple ways. I'm going to let the clip speak for itself, right? And after the clip, you'll see why I wanted to talk about this. You, you'll see why that there's this hype on the internet right now where as men, you know, our community is predominantly men, but I like to keep my message neutral. Um, there's this idea that your resources and you as a man that women are out here trying to target you attack you take that use that and all of these kind of things and that there's this sort of sense of insecurity that if you're not a baller playboy or a pimp that women don't like you you're not tall enough you don't have enough money the grills the chains the rings you ain't the man so y'all always know i always give empowerment to the community and the direct person i'm talking to and always keep it as real as possible so let's play the clip. And uh, first of all, shout out my guy, Steph is cool. He right there in the comments. <laughs> nice guys. Nice guys don't even finish the race. She'll be ready for you when she's 35. GG's. No, my nigga funny as hell. But um, let's get into this, right? Because y'all know I like to unpack these messages and, and, and get directly to it. There's a couple of things that need to be mentioned here. The word boring and then the word nice and then the whole idea of her telling you not to date because you'll get used. And I'm going to keep it as real as possible. Let's get into it. If you're boring and nice as a man, don't date. Okay? If you are a boring, nice man, do not date. And don't let a woman find out that you're willing to spend money. Okay? Don't date. You're boring, you're nice, and, and you're not shy with the credit card. You're going to get used, whether it be intentionally or unintentionally, but you're going to get used. Okay? She's either going to... Now, <clears throat> after all the sign language, I agree with her. But for different reasons. Now, drop this, right? I want to take the word boring first, right? Take that with a grain of salt. Because guess what? I'm boring. I may be boring to somebody else's standard, somebody else's life, but I'm not bored. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not bored of my life and my habits. The amount of time I invest in working compared to the amount of time I invest in things other people would consider fun. And then guess what? I even have fun in different ways that people may not like. I like to drift cars. I like to do donuts. I like to drive fast. I like shit like that. I like roller coasters. I like nature i like somebody may look at that man that's too much for me i don't like being in a car and that should feel out of control i don't like roller coasters um nature's boring to me i don't really like nature so guess what they live my life they're bored or i live their life i'm bored so this whole idea of being boring and 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 taking that personally and this is even for a woman even if a woman listen to this somebody's idea of boring never take that personally because your life and their life should never like, you just want to be around comp people that are compatible with you. People that support your hobbies and, and things of that nature so that you're not forcing yourself to have fun. You're not in the middle of the club knowing that you hate strip clubs. Or you're not in the middle of the forest knowing that you hate nature. I don't know if anybody that hate, 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 hates nature, but y'all get what I'm saying. The main key word I want to focus on is this whole nice thing. Because y'all know I made that video on nice guys, right? And how the limps, we call them limps because they're simps. We drop the S and give them an L because that's all they take. They don't know how to send the Dooney demons to Dooney land. In the back of the Dooney van, straight to the gulag. They don't, they scared. They don't have the balls to do it, right? And I can't wait to break. This is, this is going to be a part one, right? Because I'm going to make a whole nother, I'm going to do a whole nother video on what I was called big dick energy, right? How women talk about this. What is this whole idea of big dick energy? I'm going to break that down. I'm going to go deep on it. And I even did a Patreon video on um, assertiveness. You know, what it, why being assertive avoids you from, or, you know, stops you from getting taken advantage of, right? And 
The part that I want to expand on on YouTube before y'all look at that or try to watch that Patreon video or get one-on-one -on -one calls in there is that when you are not assertive, this whole nice guy thing, when you are a pushover, when you are pretending to be the guy she wants to, to, to fuck or whatever, right? You are that much easier to take advantage of and use. You know why? Because you're so focused on getting the coochie coins. <laughs> the coochie coins. You trying to get your XP up, right? That she, you can't see that she sees that what you want, right? Because she'll run into a guy like that easy as fuck. But she won't run into the guy who will what? Tell her what he wants. Rather than ask for it. Can I, may I, can we, should we? Rather than the guy that says, I want. makes The guy that makes statements versus asks questions. And excuse my like little list because I just got the, uh, they just put some levelers in my braces. But I say that to say, boring, dis discard that. Nice, you don't want to be that. You don't want to be nice. You can be respectful. You can have manners, you can give, you can walk around with a certain amount of decorum to you and certain amount of vernacular. I'll treat a homeless person with the same respect that I would treat the owner of the company that they're sitting in front of. I don't give a fuck. I always have the same type of mannerisms, respect, and the way I treat people. That has nothing to do with being nice. The whole idea of being nice, and I love to separate this, when she talks about nice, she talks about the guy who can't speak his mind. The guy who can't tell it like it is and tell it like it isn't. The guy who just can't keep it fucking real. But since I deal with a lot of this on a day-to-day -day basis, I want to give you insight, right? You watching this, well, what's the nice guy? What's the nice guy? Nice guys take a, get advantage of. Nice guys don't even finish the race. Nice guys finish last. <laughs> you know, my guy stuff is goes there. But what is the nice guy? Who, who is this guy that everyone's shitting on? I have found, through my research, through my searching and observing of the internet and these things and dealing with these pe and people like this, it is the guy who has been trained through his life, or even the girl, because y'all don't realize this, a simp could be a man or a woman, a nice guy, that whole stereotype or trope can be a man or a woman. It is the person who has been trained through their life to most simply put be a people pleaser a people's pleaser but not just how a people's pleaser just try to please people but how they will put everything else first except themselves and then in a non-honorable way because it's honorable to put people first to have a, a you know a, a mission or agenda or purpose and to you know to not be have this huge ego and shit like that right but when you're doing it because that's all that you can do and not because that's what you're choosing to do, even in reality, that's the choice you're making. But when I say that that's what you can do, over time, you've been taught to be a yes man or a woman. Your, your sense of self has been beaten down and abused so much that by the time you interact with a woman or by the time you interact with a dude, they can look at you. And here's this whole idea of getting taken advantage of. And people in the comments hate this, right? Look at this. Notice this. Um, she speaks for city. Hold on, hold on. Hear me out. Maybe he could just date another kind hearted, appreciative woman that doesn't care about blah, blah, blah. She's speaking on behalf of city girls. Girls telling her to be quiet. I'm praying for a boring, nice man. So you see this discrepancy between people saying, oh, she's full of shit, man. That's not right. I'm going to tell you like it is. If you're nice, a push over, you can be walk over, and you're not assertive, you will be taken advantage of. But guess what? I'm real enough to tell you, it won't just be by women. It will be through your family, your friends, your boss, your co-workers, the bus driver, the whatever. But guess what? There's a whole other side of that coin. You doing what the fuck you want and getting what the fuck you want out of life. There's no other way for me to say it. And guess what? You may not get that, but at least you have the balls to do it or go for it. And what at the end of the day, why is that nice? I don't know how that identity got associated with it, but in reality, it's just the person who's not, who doesn't have the balls to be real. 
Because guess what? If you had the balls to be real, you mess with a woman, right? You're boring, right? But you're not nice. The idea is that when she thinks of you, when she talks to you as a man, you're direct, you're clear, you're concise, you're to your point, you're you're blunt. There's no way around a person like you. So she asks you for money, right? Let's take two people. Let's take a surface dweller, a surface dweller, and let's take me. Woman asks both of us for money. Nice guy. Um, He knows that it's wrong. He knows that he doesn't know her. He knows that, like, this, this bitch crazy. That's what, he, that's, what, that's what he says in his head. I'm not willing to believe that there's anybody who a stranger asks for money and then they just say, oh, hey, sure. I'm not willing to believe that. I'm willing to just bet on the benefit of the doubt that every motherfucking person would hear that and be like, what? However, he knows he has money. He knows that maybe he convinced himself it's not that big of a deal. I don't know the lies that he told himself, but he told himself that. So he sends the money. Doesn't make a big deal about it. Or maybe, guess what? Maybe he doesn't send the money, but he doesn't call her out for that blatant disrespect because it's not even disrespectful to him. Let's take me. Random stranger asked me for money. First of all, no. Second of all, no. Third of all, hell no. Fourth of all, with all due respect, I don't know you well enough to even give you money. Number two, I don't know what gave you the audacity to ask me like I'm a fucking, like I'm, I got Chase written on my forehead, Chase Bank, or Wells Fargo tatted on my arm or in my sleeve. I don't know what you, I don't know if you, if, if, if I look, you look at me and see ATM, but I am not HIM. I'm not him. I am not him at the Chalamet. That is, I am not, listen, 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 listen. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. We don't do that here. And even, guess what? And even if I, I take care of the people, I take care of the people I care about. I take care of the people I love. You are not one of those people. At all. Don't, don't play me like that. So listen. Because I have the balls to not be nice or rude or disrespectful, but to be real. I don't say that to disrespect or offend her. I'm just being real. I don't know you enough. I don't care about you enough. I don't you're no you're like you're nobody to me to ask for something like that. Because people I treat and give that treatment earn it. I know them. There's some sort of loyalty and connection that we have. It damn sure ain't a stranger. Don't ever ask me for them no shit like that. What makes me an asshole and what makes that nice guy a nice guy? The truth is still the truth. I don't think a stranger should just feel comfortable asking another stranger for money. But you know how she just said in that video? She knows you're not going to say no anyway. Man, man, let, me go to, let me make sure she said that part. Is in... And you're not shy with the credit card. You're going to get used, Watch whether this. it be intentionally or unintentionally, but you're going to get used. Watch this. Okay? She's either going to come to the con conclusion and say, all right, he's too nice, but he's boring. I'm not feeling it. Maybe we should go our separate ways. Or she's going to turn around and say, well, damn. He's going to tell me yes anyway. I might as well keep on, <laughs> keep it coming. You know what the funny part about that is? He's going to say nice to me. Or her in this in this scenario, right? Only because he doesn't know or she doesn't know how to say yes to themselves. Y'all know I go deep. I always make these things deeper than they need to be. I always go deep, not wide. Y'all, I always go beneath the surface. Now listen, what do I mean by that? What what, what is that? What does that mean? He can't say yes to himself. You know what I mean? I know you know what you want. I know you see that girl across the street from you in public or sitting down in the chair when you're at the park or I know you know you want to talk to her. I know you know you want her number. I know you know you find her pretty or some sense or on the surface of based on her appearance. I know you know you want her. But will you tell yourself yes or will you tell yourself maybe we shouldn't do that and blah blah or you'll do what people complain and call overthink. Let me turn the alert box off. I don't believe in overthinking. I believe we were fucking evolved to make brains and be overthinkers and intelligent an intelligent species on this planet for a reason. I'm not you're not I'm not gonna have this fucking big ass head and you're gonna tell me that I overthink. 
it was made for thinking. The problem is that a lot of people tend to think in a way that holds them back. They have all this fear. False expectations around reality. Fear. Quote me on that. And I say that to say, you know what you want. You say no to yourself. You deny yourself what you deserve. And if you go to my Patreon, I went on to a, a, assertiveness and how and, and being assertive, there's this sort of acknowledging that you deserve what you that you deserve what you want. That you are that it is it is what it is. Whether you'll get it or not, whether you'll go over there and that girl will give you a number or not, there's nothing to do with you. She could she could be in a bad mood. She could have a boyfriend. She could have a fiance. She could not want you based on your parents. She could think you're too tall or too short or who the fuck knows. But that has nothing to do with what you want. So because you can't tell yourself yes. Yes, you're not tripping because you over time in your life, people have made how you feel and what you think. Um, and they beat that down, down in your self-esteem and your sense of self. They made you feel wrong for being who you are, how you are and what you think that by the time you're confronted or interact with someone else, you submit to them. Rather than so if everyone's doing what's best for them, when will you do what's best for you? When will you put you? If everyone's putting themselves first and will walk over you in the process not to step in that puddle, when do you put yourself first? I ask that. So to go back to my point in um, you can't tell yourself yes, the funny part is the guy who is not nice in these scenarios, because we don't even have to keep it on a monetary perspective, right? On the um, Using the guy for money. We can make it in the seductive man who's nice or, or not nice. The seductive guy, the charismatic guy, the guy who has charm, the guy who knows how to talk to women, and he's not nice. Why can he say yes to himself? Because he knows what he wants, and he's not afraid to tell the girl what he wants, and he's not afraid to go for what he wants, based on what? Fear, false expectations around reality. But guess what you do? You know what you want. You know you find her pretty. You know you want to get her number. You know you want to talk to her. Come out, uh, tell her to come over, spend time with her, whatever the case may be, and talk. You know you want these things. You're the one choosing to stop yourself, based on what? Well, let me give her what she wants. Tell her what she wants. Let me be. Well, how about you learn to be the guy she needs? That your value and worth, and what you stand on as a man, has nothing to do with being chosen by her, recognized by her, or any of that. I am the guy you need, and here's why. I stand on this. I am that. I'm not cocky. I'm not arrogant. I just know who I am. Do y'all see the other level on the side of confidence? So that when it comes down to what you know, that you can't sugarcoat, hide, or try to manipulate your way into things. That whole playing nice is just disrespecting you and what you can do. But I want I want to let's keep it going because it gets it gets even worse. Watch this. It's going to go one of two ways, all right? You'll have the genuine woman that really cares about your well-being or you'll have the woman that's just going to use you because you're freaking nice and boring. And you hate yourself and you don't love yourself and appreciate yourself. So you're going to get used and she's going to scan your car and she's going to run it up like a motherfucking city girl. Y'all know that whole story. She's going to end up being with a man who's <clears throat> not boring. He might not be nice. But she's going to be like off on the side, probably doing her own thing. With that being said, okay. And she'll still use you. Now, I'm going to be honest. She's just basically going to go in and, and explain more about that woman who will use you and shit like that. But we don't need to hear that. Actually, I will play it anyway. But the I want to make this point here to say that whether you like it or not, whether it's a city girl or not, it doesn't matter. Because that's not the point. The point is that you are the person that they can take advantage of. You see, I'll look at a guy who gets scammed, finesse, and taken advantage of and be like, I, I won't sit here and say, what a shitty person who scammed him. What a shitty person who took advantage of him. What a I say, why the fuck was he so dumb? Why the, why the hell that, man, that, that person let that happen? Because I know... I know that shit wouldn't have flied. That man, that would that shit would have been like a bird with no wings. A chicken. <laughs> yeah, I'll be playing, but listen. In reality, just think about it though. 
Oh, because that same... I keep telling y'all, bro. The same woman can mess with two different guys and we can get two different women. She she just she disrespects you, raises her voice at you, talks crazy to you, cause she knows you. She knows you. And then she can talk to me, and we have a respectable conversation. We talk about real shit, cause I don't beat around the bush. Based on what fear of what would happen if I just was direct and head on as a man. And as and when you're like that as a man, you are very intimidating and attractive to women. You know what I mean? Or maybe you don't, because you don't even, you don't have the balls to stand on that. And what you need to realize is that these women out here do exist. But I'm fair, and I don't hate women. I love women. So I'll be honest enough to say, guess what? It's not just those women. And it's not even about the fact that it is a woman. It's a people thing, bro. It's a character thing. A shitty person is a shitty person, a man or woman. My nigga, snakes are snakes. You ain't we ain't never looked at this nigga and said that's a oh, that's a that's a boy snake, that's a girl snake. That's a motherfucking snake. When it comes down to it, stop taking this whole I hate women train, women or city girls and finesse. Guess what? You got homies that will hold me. They hoes. They will play you. They will try to mess with your girlfriend after you leave her. They will t- take some shit off your dresser or snatch some shit off your counter when you're not looking. They will lie to your face. They will talk about you behind your back. That ain't this ain't, this whole betrayal and, and dishonorable and snake and slimy ass shit. This ain't got nothing to do with a girl or a woman. That is a person thing. And then when you sort of take that that perspective that you're attached to, that it's a woman thing. These bitches ain't shit. I can't dress it. And you stop hating women. And you start hating character and, and dishonorable, fake-ass, slimy people. You start to see things more directly. You start to say, hmm. When that person said that to me, what was their intention? Why did they do that? Boy or girl, man or woman, adult or kid. What the fuck? What, what was that for? And you can see it more directly because you start dealing with things in the principle as they are. Not what you want them to be or what your perception tells you it is. So I wanted to leave y'all with that message because... Too many people on the internet hate women nowadays. Oh, you can't trust. You can't trust people. And if you, the more you continue to say, man, fuck bitches, I hate bitches, man, I can't trust bitches. You got somebody in your family. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm a little sick right now. You got somebody in your family. You got one of your friends for, that could be friends for years. Your boss, your coworker, as I said in the beginning. That is doing you way worse than that woman. You know what? That woman who straight up says, can you cash at me this? Can you send me money this? You know what I can respect about that woman? At least she's putting up the middle finger to your face. She ain't ain't doing this. Teeth and palms. She's smiling. She's shaking. And then behind her back, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) Behind her back, she got the, she got the, she got the, the blade. She ready to, uh, you know what I'm saying? She ready to dice you up and slice you up. And then, and then I wouldn't be the sensei. I wouldn't be Taekwondo. I wouldn't be uh, of your best interest if I didn't want you to be clairvoyant. I didn't want you to be aware. I didn't want you to be, you know, omnipotent as much as you can to this shit. Because a lot of people are going to get up here and feed y'all hate of women. I don't hate women. I love women. I don't, there's no, I don't have no problems with women. I never had my heart broken. I don't, listen, I've had people betray me. I've seen slimy shit. And I'm man enough to say it's not a woman thing. I'm man enough to say it's not a man thing. It's a person thing. And that you need to realize it is your choice what you allow happen. It is your choice how you allow yourself to be disrespected and abused. And guess what? I, listen, if I told you the stories of things I've done over my respect, you would look at me like I'm crazy. But that's, guess, guess what? There's one thing that I know that maybe you don't. You were born alone. I don't give a fuck if you was a twin or not. You were born at separate times. You will die alone. It's you, uh, it's you with you. You are all you got. Even if somebody loves you to death, they can never love you like you can love yourself. 
nobody can love you like you love yourself. And when you start to realize that this finite, limited time that we have on this planet, this this little speck of a amount of lifetime that we have here, and you start to realize, I live in my skin 24-7. I only get one me. Let me take advantage of that. Let me appreciate that. To the point where I'm going to choose me over anything. And as we all realize, you stop. Once you realize that, you stop caring about what people think. You stop caring. But it's not that you don't care about what they think. You can hear what they think consciously and fully and, and assess it for what it is. Let, let somebody say something about me, right? And I, don't, I don't have no arrogance, no ego, so I don't lie to myself. Let somebody say something about me or to me that is the truth. Guess what? I wouldn't get offended. I would respect it. It is, it, it is that. Unless somebody tell me something about me that's false. I wouldn't get offended or disrespected because I know it's false. It, it has no weight to it. I don't even have to disprove it or prove myself. I know what it is and what isn't. I know that the truth is what it is, whether you believe it or not, whether it's proven or not. The truth is the truth and it is what it is. And I am who I am. And that's why these videos be about the bigger picture, baby, because we Taekwondo, the sensei, we think deep, not why we see vast and far. Dojo to the moon to Saturn and we leaving the solar system. The limps won't even know we exist. Beep, beep.